Hey, hey, Virgo, intuitive soul coach here with your July 2022 love reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Virgo and take a look at all things related to love. Whether you are currently partnered, perhaps you're single, maybe you're focusing on friendships, family relationships, or self-love, we will dive into it all. So just a friendly reminder, these are general readings. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, diving into your energy here with the past, present, and future. Uh, we have here, Virgo, we have home matters in the area of the past. So there's definitely situations going on in the recent past. Now this could even be the far out past that is still affecting your present energy at this time. You're dealing with some personal issues, some issues regarding possible stability, maybe even fear, rejection, abandonment. This could be even childhood wounding that you've been working through. Some of you are dealing with maybe actual moves as well because they're talking about anything home related for you. There may have been a long distance relationship is what I am getting for some of you. Uh, for others of you, this is something personal. Maybe there was a sibling or family uh, squirrel or squabble in the, in the family. There could have also been maybe a, a divorce or even a marriage if you are in a situation with someone where you are wanting to create more peace in your life. And I feel like you had to tend to some personal matters here in the past and do some healing. Now, in the present moment, we have a breakthrough showing up for you. So this is really powerful. In the month of July... It's like you're having that epiphany, that aha moment. The ax comes in and says there will be major breakthroughs in a lot of your relationships, if not one specific relationship that is very close to your heart in the month of July. I feel for a lot of you, uh, even if you are looking for love, I mean, these could be internal breakthroughs where you're realizing, wow, I've really healed something. I dealt with the situation and let it go. Therefore, I'm in the energy of manifesting a new love opportunity, a new soulmate here. For others of you, you're having breakthroughs in relationships that you are currently in, including friendships and family dynamics here. There is healing I'm seeing here. So I'll be curious if that Four of Swords shows up in your reading. Now, in the area of the future, we have Upcoming Adventure. This is the Canoe card, and it's a very powerful energy regarding taking a little bit of time out for yourself, connecting, uh, disappearing a little bit from the hectic, busy schedule that life has to offer sometimes, and just getting yourself out possibly in nature, possibly by the water, maybe going uh, hiking, going on an excursion. I just heard that somebody may be a biker as well, so if you are intimate maybe cycling or biking. Now this can be paddle boarding, kayaking, canoeing, anything on the water, even boating. But for the majority of you, this is just taking a little bit of time out. Maybe leaving again the hectic busy world or busy life and getting out in nature, doing some camping, doing some sort of excursion or getting on a plane and going someplace. I feel like you are preparing for a new adventure. And I sense that a lot of you will be with other people that uh, are close to your heart, if not a, a specific partner. Let's take a look and see what is going on in the month of July for you, Virgo. What is the heart of the matter? Virgo, July 2022. Seven of Pentacles. You've been working hard on either a specific relationship or hard on yourself. Uh, positive energy, positive work on yourself by healing through some of the issues that were at home. Some of you maybe were stay-at-home parents or you had small children to raise. Some of you are empty nesters is what I'm sensing here. And there's a sense of wanting a companion, wanting a friend to share this energy with. There's a reconnection. If you have been with your partner for quite some time, you may be contemplating what next, what now, especially if you are uh, both together and there's nobody under the same roof except the two of you, you may be wondering how can we bring our relationship to the next level. If you are currently uh, in a solo energy, you're going to continue working on yourself here and bringing happiness internally. And that's going to manifest that energy of that soulmate, that companion. They're talking about a companion. Some of you may have a companion pet or somebody that brings a lot of, or excuse me, a pet that brings a lot of love and a lot of energy to your life. 
Or you may be contemplating getting a pet in the month of July if you don't already have one. And that, that may only resonate with a few of you. Let's take a look and clarify. Yeah, we have the High Priestess. Some of you know that there's change on the horizon. Uh, you've been dreaming. I just heard that some of you have been dreaming about your soulmate and you haven't even met them. Uh, some of you may be manifesting through your dreams as well. And that's a really possible thing, especially when we lucid dream and we trust our intuition. The high priestess is saying here that there are mysteries and there are uh, insights that are really coming up that may have been below the surface. You're gaining that inner wisdom to pay attention to those gut feelings. Pay attention to those channeled messages that are coming through for you because you know that something is worth growing and that you will continue to water whatever it is that you're putting your time and attention into. And it's going to grow and expand and be very exciting. And I feel like that's what this breakthrough is all about for you, Virgo. Now let's see what's crossing your energy. What is crossing your energy in the month of July? Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Okay, so what's crossing your energy here is the Ace of Cups. You want a new love connection. But this is saying here, you can't drink from an empty cup. And that's kind of what I was getting in the beginning with that Four of Swords, that healing energy. This is about putting that energy back into yourself, knowing what it is that you want, getting clear on it, treating yourself with kindness and compassion, forgiving anybody that needs to be forgiven, including yourself here, and being able to really bring in that soul quenching renewal within your soul here. <laughs> I'm just getting that some of you need a little bit of time away. Now this could even be time away from uh, your partner just to kind of recoup if you are connected. The Ace of Cups, I feel for a lot of you, you want a relationship. You want this uh, gift of love. You want emotions to be overflowing here. So the challenge for you in the month of July is to focus on the relationships that you have in your life that are closest to you, but most importantly, the relationship you have with yourself. Are you being too hard on yourself? Are you stressing about it? Are you worrying about it? Are you giving everybody else love and attention, but not yourself? So let's take a look at this Ace of Cups. This is about you opening up your heart as well, Virgo. For some reason, you may have closed off your heart chakra in the past. Uh, two of cups showing up here. There may have been a separation. There may have been a disconnect here. I feel like you want to come together with a, maybe you have somebody on your mind already, or this could be with a soulmate because the two of cups comes after the ace of cups. So you really want this partnership. You really want this. And I feel like you've been trying to manifest a union or some sort of, uh, very important relationship in your life, but it's been a challenge for you at times. Maybe again, maybe you were dealing with finances in the past. You were dealing with personal issues, home matters, children, anything of that nature. And therefore maybe love wasn't on the forefront, but I do feel like you will be manifesting here. You will have a breakthrough. They're giving me August energy though, even though we are doing a July reading, I'm sensing that you're going to still have those breakthroughs and it's happening I feel like on an internal level, and once you have this epiphany, this moment of clarity, moment of truth, Virgo, it's going to allow you to live your best life. And in that energy, that is when you will manifest the soulmate or that important connection that you want for yourself. Uh, there may have been a relationship that you are in or currently in that's still affecting that heart chakra. You're still healing from a separation or some sort of uh, distant or part parting ways here, or it could, again, be that long distance relationship. Page of Pentacles. This can be about manifesting a new opportunity. Now, this could be a new home. This can be a new uh, relationship that you want to maybe move to see that person. Uh, for others of you, I feel like you are receiving messages here. Some of you could be on online dating or you have some people that have caught your eye, or I feel like you've caught the eye of some people here. But this is about you focusing on the earthly realm, your finances, your materials, your prosperity, your health, and your body. Paying attention to your body, mind, and soul, and feeling like you are growing and you're thriving is going to be very important for getting in the zone. Uh, some of you have definitely been through a few challenges regarding ups and downs, and you're working on your, excuse me, working on your triggers, you're working on uh, traumas as well. They just said TNT, so triggers and traumas. Uh, so I feel like you've been doing a lot of healing. 
Yeah, because you were easily offended here. Uh, you possibly felt defenseless, defenseless at times, felt like you had to walk on eggshells, like you couldn't quite be your best self. But this is saying, nope, I've learned the lesson here. I uh, am going to stand up for my beliefs. I'm going to stand proud and I'm going to have the upper hand and I don't want to settle. So I feel like you've definitely overcome a lot here. Seven of Wands is about... Uh, standing up for your beliefs and defending yourself here, but you don't want to look for a fight. You don't want to feel always on guard or feel easily offended here. And I'm sensing that you are overcoming some confidence issues, some possibly somebody left a little bit of a bruise because of their ego may have bruised your heart here. And I'm sensing that you're healing from this. And because you're doing that inner work, you're telling yourself a new story that you are lovable Virgo, that you are worthy of attracting the kind of love you want into your life and that you're not going to settle for less than you deserve. Some of you may have been in relationships in the past where maybe there was disrespect. Maybe other people kind of pushed you in a corner and didn't let you truly shine. And I'm just sensing here that you've had to work through being kind of pushed down, being suppressed. You kind of had to rise up above here. Let's take a look at what happened in the past. What's going on for Virgo in the past? How may it still be affecting? Yeah, finding chaos, or excuse me, finding peace within chaos. Finding more balance here. The Two of Pentacles can be a challenging energy because it says that uh, you are under dist distress. You're taking on too much. You're feeling overwhelmed. At times, you're feeling the frenetic energy of imbalance due to maybe something at home with the home matters, maybe finances, kids, uh, the, the energy of the world. So I'm just sensing that there was a lot, a lot going on in your life in the past that was off kilter. Because you can see here, as much as she wants balance, these aren't balanced out here. So it's like you're trying to figure out how to balance your body, mind, and soul. And once you are getting to that point here, which I see you working through that, that's when you're able to transform that energy into something quite beautiful. Uh, we have the four of cords, uh, excuse me, four of pentacles. Yeah, you're wanting to open yourself up again after feeling caged, feeling tied down or not being able to be your best self or open up to someone possibly. You may have opened up in the past, but really it's like the door got slammed in your face. Uh, it's like you locked it up and you said, nope, I'm never going to get hurt again. I'm not going to let anybody push me or lock me behind these doors here. So the Four of Pentacles is all about protecting yourself. But sometimes when we close our heart and protect our hearts, we feel like that's protecting, but when we do that, we can't love, let love in or out at times. And this is saying here, you are figuring out how to take the chains off of this door and to let that sunshine, let that happiness come back through. And that's what I see you doing here. Let's take a look at what's above you. What is the potential? What's coming in here for you? Queen of Cups, there it is, you opening your heart. Some of you may be reaching out to uh, a healer, maybe a therapist, a coach, a psychic, an intuitive, uh, but the Queen of Cups is someone who gives great advice. They give great support. They are very extremely intuitive. So whether this is someone that you are seeking out or this is you emotionally evolving here, Virgo, uh, either way, this is about bringing more compassion to your life, more empathy and feeling more loving because at times, you possibly were very emotional. You took things to a very emotional level. You took things very personally. And this is all about filling your own cup. And once you realize that, you know, sometimes what people do to you or their words or their actions are a lot of times projections of their own triggers. And you are realizing why certain things happen the way that they did in the past. And that's, I feel, what's giving you this breakthrough moment. And therefore, your soul will evolve and you'll be able to attract the kind of relationships you want in your life. So this is some powerful stuff happening for you. Yeah, you're freeing yourself from what binds you. The Eight of Swords in reverse. So this is about you letting go of an old story so you can make way for a new one. The Eight of Swords is almost like a self-restriction here. It's about you hanging on to something that's really you are the only one that can let go. And sometimes we 
self-sabotage by telling ourselves, oh, we're not going to ever meet the man of our dreams or the woman of our dreams. We're always going to get hurt. This person's always going to hurt me or cheat on me or not make me a priority. So sometimes we keep replaying stories in our head that aren't even true, Virgo. And I feel like you're letting something go. You're saying, you know what? My soul had to go through that to learn, to evolve, because that's what I came down here to earth to do. I'm having a breakthrough moment. I'm releasing whatever binds you, whatever is holding you prisoner. And it's yourself. It's your own ego, your own thoughts, your own fears, your own obsessions. Once you acknowledge this, which I feel like you are, you already have, maybe by the help of this Queen of Cups or because you're channeling, you're quite intuitive with that uh, Empress and, or excuse me, High Priestess energy. This is about you releasing anything that holds you back. Okay, and you're gaining the knowledge necessary. This could also be about you releasing relationships from family members, from friends, maybe from uh, lovers, and you are having a breakthrough moment and saying, you know, I'm not going to hold this over them any longer because it does more pain onto me than it does actually them, uh, if not both. Let's see what's coming in for you, Virgo, because I see a lot of positivity. Oh my, oh my gosh, you can't make this up. You have the Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers. Uh, so I'm going to put these in this position here. So I feel like the, the Lovers is what's coming in in the future. This is a very, very important relationship in your life. Now, it certainly can be a romantic relationship. For a lot of you, it is. Uh, it is about reevaluating a relationship if you are currently in one or if you have somebody on your mind, reevaluating what, what direction to go and how the both of you can either emotionally evolve together or separately. And for some of you, this is about healing a family dynamic between a family member or a friend who is like family or a very important person that's very close to your heart. The lover's card is about you having a choice to balance this partnership, Gemini energy. This is a soul contract, love uh, between you and another person. So if there were any trust issues, disharmony or indecisive, you're having a breakthrough moment and your soul will know what to do here. We're gonna clarify uh, what the lover's card means for you, but also what you're telling yourself is you want, as I'm throwing cards around here, you want this 10 of pentacles. You want this happily ever after this, almost like a fairy tale, but you know, fairy tales, I still go through all those ups and downs. It's about a happy ending. You're going to get to that ending that you want here. Uh, but it doesn't mean that there is an ending in a union. For some of you, it could be. But I feel like you're just wanting something maybe you didn't have as a child. And I feel like I'm getting the same type of energy as I think it was the Leo reading. If you have Leo in your chart or if you are dealing with a Leo, you may want to check that out. There it is. King of Cups. You have Queen of Cups and King of Cups. So some of you are calling in soulmate energy. Out of all of the, uh, the, the pairs, I mean, Queen of Wands, King of Wands is beautiful, but this is all about that love really flowing in, a lot of love for each other. And the King and Queen of Cups energy is showing up for you along with the lovers, along with the Ten of Pentacles. So this is huge. You're really going to reevaluate. You're having a breakthrough moment and saying, what is in the highest good of my soul's growth? And you are moving in that direction. I see that without a doubt here. So King of Cups is your soulmate. If you're single, you're calling this person in here in the near future. And this could be in, you could be in for an adventurous ride here. You see the canoe, the water it looks calm, uh, but I'm sensing here that this King of Cups is going to bring excitement, going to bring a lot of uh, passion. If you're in a relationship here as well, you may again be deciding to, do something differently in this union than you've done before, whatever that is to you. So what you're telling yourself is 10 of Pentacles. You want a stable family. You want security. You want wealth. You want uh, family ties and roots. You want any family drama to heal within your union here. You want your children, your family, your pets, yourself to be happy. And you want uh, to be joined by other kindred spirits. And also you want, uh, they're telling me that some of you may be very alone within your own family dynamic and you may really love someone else's family quite strongly as well. Please take that as it resonates. But I feel like you will be manifesting and attracting this happy, uh, happy energy 
because you have the page of wands, which is exciting new news coming in. So stay curious, stay enthusiastic, stay passionate for achieving this 10 of pentacles. If it's not something you already have here, because you are stronger than you think with the strength card, this is you, this is that Leo energy. This is about you being determined to get what it is that you want. This 10 of pentacles, you will achieve this status here. And then you have the magician. You have everything within you to manifest. You are the creator of your own destiny here. Virgo, this is huge. These uh, cards combined, Strength, Page of Wands, and the Magician is actually all of the tools you need to create this Ten of Pentacles. So whatever important relationship that you're either in or that you're calling in, whatever decisions you make are going to lead you to this 10 of pentacles one way shape form or another you will end up there now let's take a look and see what external influences are showing up for you in the month of july what external influences are coming in two of wands planning some of you are planning your future you can see here that she's looking out there. She's wanting to make a decision. She has the globe in front of her, possibly wanting to camp. Uh, very interesting, very interesting indeed. There is a, uh, either a surfboard or a paddleboard in a camper. There's upcoming adventure here as well. So I do feel like a lot of you are planning some sort of adventure for the future. And some of you are even traveling is what I'm sensing. But the two of wands is about needing to make a decision. What is your vision? What is your passion? What is your heart telling you how to move forward here? And again, if you need to seek out with this Queen of Cups, I do feel for a lot of you, uh, this Queen of Cups is yourself, but it can certainly be some someone intuitive in your life that can help guide and help navigate you towards achieving this Ten of Pentacles. Two of Wands, you're planning. Let's see what's going on with the Two of Wands. Two of Wands, what is it that you need to focus and plan on with this Two of Wands? Oh my gosh, you can't make this up. Ten of Pentacles again showing up. This is about you healing family drama. This is about you really focusing on your emotional wealth, stable family. I want you to practice every single day. What does this look like to you? What are the feelings that you're feeling? Recreate that story in your mind. Even if you didn't have the best childhood or maybe you did, Virgo, what do you want your life to look like? And I want you to start envisioning that every single day. And I feel like the more that you focus the energy on the good and on the financial wealth, the stability, but also about the happiness of your own family and the people that are surrounding you, the more that you're going to manifest and create this into your life. So you have a plan here. Now it's about making that decision to focus your energy on achieving that. I love this for you. So let's take a look here and see what are your hopes and what are your fears. Virgo, hopes and fears. King of Cups again. Okay, some of you are fearful of not attracting this King of uh, Cups. Maybe not attracting someone that is, uh, maybe attracting someone that is not in touch with their emotions that can at times be cold, untrustworthy, or may abandon or reject you. But the hope here is that you will attract someone who's very loving, very supportive, emotionally intelligent, patient, compassionate. Uh, this person can be emotionally distant until you get uh, you get into their feelings, until they can trust, until they can build up here. So I certainly sense soulmate energy. A lot of you are either in a union where there is love or you're calling in a soulmate. This is some powerful stuff here in your reading, Virgo. A lot of you are definitely in or calling in a soulmate connection. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, something that has been slow, steady. I feel like this, this uh, King of Cups, if somebody in the past was cold, untrustworthy, or abandoned you, don't let that energy define. Because this is saying here that this King of Cups, whoever this is in your life, and it doesn't matter if it's female or male, it's just the energy here. The King of Cups energy is, is open, but the Knight of Pentacles is trustworthy, reliable, dependable. And I feel like that's your hope, that in this union, this person, there can be slow but yet steady results here that will lead you to happily ever after. So very deep. Let's take a look at the final outcome. I mean, you already have the best cards out here, the Lovers, the Ten of Pentacles, the King and Queen of Cups. I mean, this is huge. Oh, okay, they want both of them. Oh, wow. All right, so we have the moon 
Oh my gosh, you have three cards here. You have the moon, the six of wands, and the king of pentacles. So right away here, we have the moon. We have the king of pentacles last, and I'll explain why. The moon card says that you're uncertain. You're not sure if this person is the one. You're not sure how to manifest a soulmate. Uh, you might not be sure if this relationship can withstand the test of time here if you're in one. This is about needing clarity, and that may be why you have a breakthrough moment coming in. This breakthrough moment that comes in in July is going to lead to the clarity you need and it's going to bring great success here. Six of Wands, for those of you that have been following me, know that it's one of my absolute favorite cards, even though it's in the major, minor arcana. It comes after the five. And it says that, yes, you've been through obstacles. You've been through rivalry. You've been through uh, competitiveness or criticism. But working together and working with others really inspires you to live your best life. And I feel like the Six of Wands for you is all about, again, hitting a milestone in your love life that you've wanted for quite some time. That it, maybe it's taken a while to get to here. And the King of Pentacles as the final card, this is saying that, uh, I feel like both of you aren't afraid to put in the hard work. And some of you, it's rebuilding some sort of trust. Even if this is a new person, you may be healing some trust issues from the past. The King of Pentacles, uh, you know, works in the lines of that Ten of Pentacles. You will rise to the top here. There will be honesty. There will be trust, loyalty, but also I feel like financial uh positivity as well both of you combined this is really beautiful oh i love this for you here so even though we have three uh three energies coming up get clear on what you want because if you are in a union right now where you you know that it's not going anywhere and this is just for a few of you but if you're in a union that you've been stuck in but you just haven't been sure how to leave there will be clarity that's going to allow your soul to go in a direction now whether that's staying with that person or leaving completely up to you it's going to be different for each of you i feel like whatever you gain clarity and whatever this breakthrough is you it will lead you to a better life that that is guaranteed here um so i'm definitely feeling that breakthrough is bringing in a lot of abundance a lot of success for you virgo so let's take a look and get a message from the wisdom of the oracle and for those of you that are interested in any of the decks used during your reading you can find all of that information in the description box below all right we have a deep knowing oh my gosh this coincides with that intuitive energy that's showing up in your reading there's a deep knowing within you here trust that energy and uh 43 when you add that up four and three equals seven that's the chariot that's the card of triumphant success so there is a deep knowing that something will be successful that you are manifesting that ten of pentacles energy now this is the card about intuition which again you you receive that high priestess card so this is about listening to the oracle within it's about empathy and hypersensitivity which if anybody has that the king and queens uh king and queen of cups most certainly do and it says here there are occasions when you just know deep in your heart and soul that a person is going to play a meaningful role in your life. Someone crosses your path and suddenly out of the blue, you're connected at a level impossible to describe. That feeling marks a moment in time etched indelibly into your soul. Someone has entered your life who will be instrumental in your journey. So pay attention. Two hearts are calling to each other to begin an alchemic alchemical process i feel like i butchered that word alchemical process uh, this is also a sign that your intuition about the person you care about is correct trust your heart to lead you now magic is about to happen oh my gosh this is absolutely beautiful so it's saying here that if you are single and you're looking to attract a soulmate this is saying that someone is or has entered your life who will be a huge part of your journey so pay attention also, two hearts are calling to each other. Literally, two hearts. You have the lover's card. You have the two of, uh, you have the ace of cups here. You also have the two of cups. You have the king and queen of cups. There is a lot of love here showing up for you. There is a deep knowing that something is going to work out for you in the long run. So don't give up here. 
Now, I'm just gonna read to you the protection message for some of you that are really in your feels. Uh, it says here, you are in empathy, are in empathy overload and need to get grounded again, so tune out for a bit. Hypersensitive, you are suffering from psychic exhaustion. This signals a time for a recharging of your batteries. Set energetic boundaries, take a salt bath, empty your mind and get back to you. It's not a time to be too open. Soon enough, you can let your guard down. Right now, you need self-care and self-love. It's time to say no thank you to anyone in your life who exhausts you. Won't that feel good? Beautiful energy here. Yes, I'm getting both of those vibes. So I feel like both of those messages, the relationship and uh, the protection message will resonate with all of you out there here, hopefully, uh, or you wouldn't still be watching. But I hope this message helps you. I hope it resonates. Do know that there's major breakthroughs coming in. I still, I don't think I've ever seen such a powerful love reading. Uh, and I've been doing this for a while here, but seriously, with the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Lovers, Queen, King, Ten of Pentacles, I mean, this is unheard of. So whatever you're attracting or whatever you have currently going on in your life, know that it you will be changed forever and I feel like for the better. So Virgo, I hope this resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly does help get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Feel free to share, comment, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I am sending you so much love, so much light. Thank you so much for letting me tune in.